Hi folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today we're looking around a 64 plate, that's late 2014, BMW 116i, and this is the automatic M Sport model. So it's a little bit unusual in that it's the uh, the auto, most of these 116s were manual, uh, but this one's all the better for having that uh, Tiptronic automatic transmission. It's uh, an eight speed. Uh, automatic on this car, so really modern top-notch gearbox on it and it's got 136 horsepower from its 1.6 litre turbocharged engine so this car's no slouch not only have you got 136 horsepower you've also you're always in the right gear because of course there's so many of them to choose from so it really doesn't hang around at all but it is also one of the more insurance friendly models of uh, one series and most importantly these days as well it's u less compliant because of course it's the petrol engine so it's quite a popular choice i've been driving this car around the last few days i've been getting about 45 to the gallon out of it so it's good on fuel very good on fuel in fact and it does really beg into question why you would want a diesel model over this when this has got more power it's smoother to drive and of course it's u less compliant um, it's really probably this is the cheaper car to run unless you're doing a huge amount of mileage on that diesel so i'm a big fan of these cars i like obviously the car when it's an m sport model who doesn't when you get an m sport you do get this much deeper spoiler on the front the, the front bumper's a completely different design these here are in a high gloss black the fins and you know, it really does make the car look a little bit more aggressive a little bit more purposeful and let's not forget you have got the bigger wheels on this 18 inch alloy wheels there which fill the arches they are m sport um, wheels as well you can see the m just there in the in the center and yes unfortunately a little bit of curbing on this particular one um always the one that catches the curbs the uh, the front passenger wheel but easy enough to refurbish if you wanted to i don't really feel it's something that's uh, taken much away from the car though at the moment uh, very discreet M Sport badging on the side as well, just in case you don't know it's an M Sport, just to give you a subtle hint that this is the, the one to have. And you get those nice side skirts to come around to the back, and a different rear bumper as well to the standard one series. Again, slightly more aggressive, and this one has actually got the rear parking sensors on it as well, which are very popular. But yeah, you do get these slightly more aggressive <laughs> shapes on the rear bumper on this, you don't get that on the lower spec one series models. So M Sport is kind of the way to go on these cars. Um, and I do think this is an absolute peach of an engine, the 116i. It didn't sell in huge numbers because people bought the 116 diesel at the time. That's what we were being told to do. But now the 116i makes so much more sense, I think, than the, than the diesel model. So let's have a quick look inside. very sporty interior on this i'll show you the back quickly it's a velour uh, and cloth interior on it looks really great and uh, plenty of space in the back you've got five seats proper seat belts on it and also ventilation to the rear as well so it's actually a very comfy car um this is the free door i think the free door shape looks better than the uh, than the five and also because it's got bigger front doors access to this car is much better in the three door model and it is the five the five door the doors always feel a little bit small on them this feels like you really squeeze it in i'm quite a big guy i'm you know if, you, if you're six foot plus you will find that the one series with the five doors feels quite tight when you're getting into it whereas the three door model it actually feels more spacious because you've got these much bigger doors on it let's have a quick look what it's like from behind the wheel so here we are behind the wheel of the 116 Sport. It's a really great layout on the dashboard. It's very sporty looking. I love things like the uh, the finish on these inserts here, which repeated uh, on the uh, the door handles. You've got a great uh, central binnacle here with the climate control, separate controls for the driver and the passenger, uh, and a decent stereo system, which has got USB connector for your mobile phone, Bluetooth connection, uh, and of course, you can also do Bluetooth streaming, so you can have your audio system through uh, through the stereo as well, and it all comes up on this big screen here in the middle. The car, like a lot of modern BMWs, has got different driver modes. You've got Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus on this car, 
and they will alter the way the car drives in that it'll give it different damping better throttle response as you get into the sportier models uh, modes and also uh, it will also liven up the uh, sort of steering on the car um sport plus uh which is the the most aggressive of all those also changes the traction control settings on the car and it's more of a track mode for the car um so very very um different driving experience on them i must be honest i'm getting old and i prefer the comfort setting it's it's a nice easy drive and you've still got the power on tap when you want it most but um for people who do want to get a shift on sport is there which does give you a slightly more aggressive feel on the road. I wouldn't personally use Sport Plus unless you are going racing in the car, and it's not a car designed for racing, really. So, uh, But BMW, nevertheless, do stick Sport Plus on there. They put it on all these M Sport models. Um, so it's nice to have that adaptive sort of ride and, and, and support performance on the car. Um, Eight-speed uh, gearbox, which is one of the highlights of this car. It's a beautiful gearbox on it, and it's the familiar sort of BMW shifter, which has, has got a manual shift on it, but you never use it because it's always in the right gear, this car. It's really a, a fantastic gearbox on the car. Uh, it has got a sport mode on the gearbox as well, if you do want to get a move on, but again, I'm getting old, and I tend to use it in just the standard comfort setting, which is more than adequate for, for me. Uh, and of course, like all BMWs, you've got an iDrive system here, which controls the whole shebang through that screen. It's very easy to use. Once you get used to this, you'll be navigating your way through it without even looking at it. Um, and you can get onto your telephone settings, your stereo settings very, very easily using that iDrive setting. There's plenty of good sized cup holders, plenty of cubbies in the door for your umbrellas and your rubber bits. I, I am using this car at the minute, so yes, it has got a few bits of mine in it, including my, my phone charger, which is sneaking its way from the USB port in that armrest. Um, but yeah, it's I, I'm finding this car very practical and very easy to drive. One of the things that I love on it, as well as the automatic transmission, is that it has got a very good cruise control system, which is used uh, using this left-hand buttons of the wheel here. You've also got a speed limiter function on that. Uh, and then you've got your audio settings and your, uh, your telephone controls on the right-hand side of the wheel. Uh, both of those things are very, very easy to use and, uh, and just make the car, you know, a, a nice, safe, modern car to drive along. You, you, you're always, um, you, you always feel very relaxed behind the wheel of this car and that, to me, is, is, uh, is most important of all. Uh, it is an automatic and it's got keyless ignition, so I've got a transponder key in my pocket. If I put my foot on the brake and press the start button by here, off she goes. So, I'll just let her do her thing. You can see the connection there coming up for my phone. I can put my audio settings through on here so as well. Um, we will turn that down though. It's, it's a great system and it's got DAB stereo as well, which I absolutely love. I'm a big fan of the, the DAB stations. Um, the, the hasn't got navigation this car this is just a, a sort of um a standard sort of iDrive setting which has got DAB stereo and and your phone controls through it but it has also got as I say those driver modes if I press sport for example sport comes up on there and it tells me a little bit what it's doing there um I can put different settings on it as well if I press and hold I will get I think sport plus there we go which is dynamic driving with limited stability limited driving stability stabilization uh, stabilization um i don't really need that i personally leave it on comfort on that one but if you want to go one more of course we have got eco pro uh, and that gives you more efficient driving um uh, nothing wrong with that actually but it's just it defaults to uh, to comfort when you start the car up and i tend to leave it in comfort because it, it's the jack of all trades really I'll give this car a very quick rev just so you can hear the engine. There's not a great deal to hear because it's uh, it's pretty undramatic, but it does the job really well. Um, 134 horsepower. It's turbocharged, so you've got a lot of torque there. And the real star of the show, as I say, is that eight-speed um, automatic gearbox because it really means you're almost at peak power constantly in this car if you want to be. Um, always in the right gear, always sort of catapulting you towards that uh, horizon and uh, it really does make the most of its power this car does uh, it doesn't feel um, at all like it's only 130 horsepower I've got to be fair it's it's a very very quick little car 
looks the part, drives the part. What more do you want really from a from a sort of junior hot hatch, I suppose, which is what this one series is. It's it's rivals the A-Class Mercedes, the Audi A3. Neither of those cars come anywhere near this car in terms of its driver enjoyment and abilities. Um, I, am, I, I do like the look of both of those cars, but this BMW is rear wheel drive. And that is the big difference, my friend, because an, an A3 um, really doesn't drive much different to a Golf. And uh, the Mercedes A-Class, as lovely and pretty as it is, has got uh, a lot of Renault underpinnings. So it's not a really performance car from the ground up. The BMW 1 Series, however, this particular model of 1 Series, um, not the latest one, I will add, the latest one has become a front wheel drive car like the rest of them this one is rear wheel drive and it's a proper performance machine it does drive like it looks it's a it's a very very sleek very very um pointy car that you can just place on the road so beautifully um and no other car in that class comes close to the driver enjoyment of of this this model of one series in my opinion it is a bit of a shame, really. The, the latest models of 1 Series now are nowhere near this car in terms of its dynamic driving because, of course, they have now gone to front-wheel drive and they, they are like the rest of that um, crowd of, of sort of smaller hatchbacks in that, in that category. This car was completely different because of its rear-wheel drive chassis, its dynamic driving and its ability. And the only reason BMW have, have deferred from that recipe, really, is that it's more expensive to make rear-wheel drive cars like this than it is to go front wheel drive so my personal favorite one series is the one that you're looking at right now and it probably will never be dated because now it's all about costs and uh, this model of one series was all about being the ultimate driving machine which is what bmw's tagline has always been and i think they delivered that really in terms of what you can get from a 1.6 litre four-cylinder car with an auto gearbox this is one of the finest handling finest driving cars out there so if it's of interest to you give us a shout 07932 873 646 that's my number um we are happy to take part exchange and we also are happy to arrange delivery of this car anywhere in the uk so let us know where you are and we will bring the car to you and you know please give me a call if you've got any further questions on it the number one more time is 07932 873 646 now this is the part where i do ask you please to give us a like a share subscribe to our channel for more car buying advice and more cars like this that we have available for sale um please give us a, a subscribe and hit that notifications button and you'll be kept abreast with all the new videos uh, as they come up on live on youtube and thanks ever so much for watching you can find us as well at our website which is ashtonscars.co.uk and uh what are you waiting for just give us a shout give us a ring let us know your feelings on this car and comment below please let us know your car buying experiences with one series how you found ownership of these cars and what's your view on them i'd be really interested to hear your comments and your thoughts on this 116 i sport Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day wherever you are, and we hope to see you very soon.